guys it is will and today we are gonna be doing mlb best first baseman and we are doing this on tier maker so make sure to go check that out and let's get started first up we have paul goldschmidt um on the uh st louis cardinals now with Paul Goldschmidt, 63 at bats, 56 runs scored, he has 18 homers, 88 hits, an average at 255, and an OPS of .766. I'm putting Paul Goldschmidt. Um, he's not one of the A-list um, first basemen. I mean, he's taking the Cardinals good, um, and I'll put him in B. Next, Yul Cabrera. Yul Cabrera. Um, 314 at bats, uh, 23 runs scored, five home runs, um, an, o an average of 0.283 and an OPS of 0.734. Um, let's see. I think he's either a B or C. Gul Cabrera is not playing at his best right now. Um, but I think he could change with that. So I put him at B. Next, Freddie Freeman. Um, well, Freddie Freeman, he's one of my, he's my favorite player in the MLB. Um, 390 at bats, uh, 73 runs scored, uh, 113 hits, 77 RBIs, 25 home runs, an OPS of .953 and an average of 297. Freddie Freeman is one of those S, S tier first baseman. Some say he's one of the best in the game. Um, and I think he deserves to go on that S tier. Next, we have Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo with 344 at bats, uh, 64 runs scored, um, 16 homers, an OPS of .919 and an average of .291. Um, I think Anthony Rizzo definitely deserves deserves an A. He's been playing great with the Cubs, um, and he's been playing really good, so that's why I gave him an A. Reese Hopkins. Um, Reese Hopkins has 344 at-bats, 21 homers, OPS of 291, and an average of 256. Uh, Reese Hopkins is definitely a B-tier. Um, the reason I'm putting mostly everybody out of B tier is because B B tiers S and A are like best and C and D are like worst. So B tier is right in the middle of good and bad, good, bad and improving. Well, C is more of bad and improving. Um, next, so you guys are probably thinking that is um. You're like, that's Cody Bellinger. Um, this is actually Jock Peterson. Him and Max Munchie switch out on first base on the Dodgers. Max Munchie. Oh, where did he go? Oh, Max Munchie is right here. Um, yes, this is Cody Bellinger. But this is actually supposed to be Jock Peterson. Um, I think, I mean, I haven't really seen Jock P Peterson play. First base, um, he's not really one of their normal first basemen, and for that, I'm going to put him in C. Um, so, yeah. Next, Joey Votto. Joey Votto has had a great career with the Reds. Um, good season so far. Uh, 16 home runs, an average of 286, and an OPS 739. I think Joey Votto is easily a B tier. Again, not good, but not bad. Uh, so yeah. Next, you guys are thinking that is Todd Helton. That is actually supposed to be Daniel Murphy. Um, not trying to trash talk the person that made this, but I don't know why they didn't do him good. So, um, Daniel Murphy, Murphy with nine home runs. 49 RBIs, an average of 288, OPS of 819. Um, Daniel Murphy has been playing, playing pretty good with the Rockies, but still not, um, 
You're not going to be a playoff team. You might be able to make the ball card. And leave in the comments if I should make um, who's going to make the playoffs in the World Series and stuff like that. Leave in the comments if I should do that. So, yeah, next. Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Uh, Jose Abreu has 21 homers, um, 69 RBIs, average of 273, and an OPS of 798. Um, let's see. Um, I think he's still a B tier. I mean, you don't hear about him that much. Um, you see off of his stats, he's been playing pretty good. And yeah. Uh, I don't know. Should it be a C tier? Yeah, but he's gonna be in the front of the C tier. Um, because he's like a C plus. Not a B yet, but he might be able to be a B minus. No, he's gonna be a C plus. Next, we have, um, I got told how to pronounce this, but don't go. Let's see. Um, Jesus Aguilar. Don't think that's how you pronounce it, but who cares? Eight home runs, um, 34 RBIs, an average of .288, an OPS, which is on base plus slugging of 2707. <sighs> Let's see. Um, I'm going to drop him in a B2 because he's been doing good for the, um, he's been doing good for the um, Brewers, and he's been helping Yelich get his MVP. So, yeah. Uh, next is Logan Forsythe. Logan Forsythe of the Texas Rangers. Um, Logan Forsythe has five home runs, OPS is 781, and an average of 256. I think he's going to be our first D tier. Um, eight home runs, not that, oh wait, I was looking at the wrong dude. I mean, five home runs, not that good. I mean, 33 RBIs in this season, 2019 season. What is it, like 90, somewhere in the 90th game. So, yeah, he's going to be our first D tier. Uh, Royales. Whit Merrifield. Just kidding. That is supposed to be Lucas Duda. Um, cause Lucas Duda is the first baseman for the Royals. I guess the person this, that made this just couldn't find the pictures for them. Um, but I give them credit. Ethan DeSajar. DeSajar. And if you want to follow him on Instagram, I mean Twitter, here's it. Go take a few seconds for you. Maybe write them down at Gucci Maid. Okay. Um. So Lucas Duda with three home runs, average of one forty six, and OPS five hundred. Um. You just don't see him taking the Royals to big places like Royals on their own aren't the best, but first baseman ain't helping. So that's why I dropped him in the D tier. Um, CJ Cron. Wait, no, 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 that's not right. Um, sorry about that. This is Daniel Vogel, Vogel Batch. Daniel Vogel Batch. Um, he has 23 home runs, 57 RBIs, an OPS of 872, and an average of 236, 57, wait, I already said that. I'm going to drop him in a, um, front of the B, because he's been doing the Mariners pretty good. Again, I'm not just going to drop people in the A tier, or the S tier. I think Anthony Rizzo and Fred Freeman earned that spot. Um. So, yeah. Next, we have um, Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer has 13 home runs, 63 RBIs, average of 285, an OPS of 771. Eric Hosmer, um, I think he's going to be in that C tier. Um, 
Yeah, C tier, C tier. Um, only 13 home runs on the season. Well, actually, I'm going to put him in the B tier. I'll give him a B minus. <laughs> Next, we have Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana has five home runs, 37 RBIs, an OPS of 718. Um, and an average of 283. If you wanted to see how he did in the home run derby, uh, you can just go, go to my channel, Game of Willie123. Um, and I posted one right here, home run derby finalists. So if you want to, just search up Game of Willie123. Um, and yeah, you can find that one. So, I think he is going to be, I can change the background color, ooh, what should it be, uh, red, ooh, that's pretty cool, what about white, they're all like blended, <laughs> like gray, hmm, which one, ooh, I think blue's looking pretty good, yeah, let's do blue, okay, Next, um, this is a sub for the um, Cardinals. It's Matt Carpenter and um, Paul Goldschmidt that do it. They sub out. Uh, Matt Carpenter has 10 home runs, uh, 29 RBIs, an OPS of 321, and an average of 215. Um, just because he's not playing in every game like they switch out, I'm going to put him, mm, let's see. Let's put him in a C tier. Um, just because he's not playing every game, um, if he gets to play every game, he might be able to make that A tier. But you just haven't seen a lot from him. Next, um, the Dodgers first baseman, uh, Max Munchie. And I was talking about how um, this is Cody Bellinger and... Um, well, it's supposed to be Jock Peterson. I think Max Munchie, um, Muncie deserves a B tier. I mean, he's hitting great. He has, um, 25 homers and OPS at 208. Actually, just for that, I'm going to move him to the A tier. He's been helping the Dodgers achieve another World Series goal. And, yeah, they do have other players that are helping to Clayton Kershaw, Justin, uh, Justin Turner. Dang, I, don't, I forgot his name for a sec. So, yeah. Next, for the Brewers, Mike Moustakis. Mike Moustakis also switches out with, um, can't hear, let me see. Switches out with, um, Jose. Yeah, Jesus Aguilar. So, um, I'm going to drop him in a C tier, um, just because, I mean, he doesn't play full time, just like, um, just like Matt Carpenter. He doesn't play full time, so he isn't really achieving that high goal. Next, for the A's, we have, um, Matt Olson. This is not a picture for Matt Olson, but um, again, uh, 20 all months, 41 RBIs, an OPS of 896, average of 262. I'm going to drop him in the B tier because he's not great. He's not horrible. He's in the middle. So, yeah, that's my explaining of it. Next week, um, on the Yankees, Luke Volt. Luke Volt, um, 18 home runs, 52 RBIs, OPS of 884, average, oof, oh, excuse me, of 262, no, 275. Um, I think again, he, he will be in that B tier. Um, I mean, I think he is helping the Yankees get better, but he's not really one of those star players that you see, like Anthony Rizzo, or Freddie Freeman. Um, so that's why I dropped him in a B tier. Next, we have Justin Smoke of the Blue Jays. Justin Smoke has 15 home runs, 41 RBIs, an OPS of 758, an average of 212. Um, 
I don't know. I'm going to drop them um, in that B tier again. Um, a lot of the players are going to drop in that B tier just because they're not the best, but they're not the worst. So yeah. Next, Josh Bell. Um, Josh Bell, he's going to make that S tier. Um, Josh Bell and Fred Freeman, I think, are some of the best first basemen in the game, along with Anthony Rizzo. Josh Bell has 27 home runs, 85 RBIs, OPS and, um, 986 and an average of 292. Um, yeah, I think he achieves that S tier. Again, I'm not going to put a lot of people up there, but I think he deserves it. Home run derby winner, um, Pete, big boy Pete, polar bear Pete, Alonzo, whatever you want to call him, big meat Alonzo, whatever you want to call him, he's good. He's making that A tier. Home run derby helped him get up there. If he didn't win that home run derby, he might be in a B just for getting those hits in in the home run derby he did. Great. Next we have Yuli Guerrero. Um, 18 homers. Um, yeah, I just think I'm going to drop him in the B tier. Dang, a lot of people are in this B tier. Whew. Um, next we have, these are the last, um, couple of people. Um, Miguel Sano, Sano, Miguel Sano, um, for the Twins. Um, he has, um, 14 homers, 24 RB highs. Oh, wait, wait, never mind, never mind, never mind. Oh, this is CJ Cron. Sorry about that. I got my pages mixed up. CJ Cron has 18 home runs, 55 RBIs, OPS of 814, and an average of 263. Um, I think he's going to make that C tier just because he switches out with this dude. I think he is going to make that C tier. Okay, next. Um, Renato Jeanette, Jeanette, um, for the Orioles. Um, wait, where's Chris Davis? Hmm. Well, yeah, where is Chris Davis? It's weird. But still, Orioles suck D2. <laughs> um, even if the first baseman is the best dude on the team, they don't have a lot of good players, so... Still probably going to be D2. Um, Va Ryan Zim Zimmerman um, on the Nats or the Nationals. Um, three home runs. I think he is going to make that D2 too. I mean, three home runs. Come on. You got to get more than that in a season of almost 90, almost 100 games. Like, you just got to get more than that. Brandon Belt. Of the Giants. I don't know why I said it like that. 11 home runs, 36 RBIs, 774 OPS, and an average 244. Um, he's going to be dropped in that C tier. <laughs> Who is that dude? Okay. Oh, I remember. I couldn't find any stats for this dude. I couldn't even, like, find his name. So, I don't know how to, like, move him. But... Um, I, I don't know. I could not find any stats for him. Could not find that he's a first baseman. So, yeah, we can just switch him. So just put him in the D tier because I couldn't find anything about him. Um, Miguel San Santano, um, of the Twins, 14 RB, 14 home runs, 24 RBIs, an OPS of 901, and an average of 241. Um, Let's see. I'm going to drop them in a C tier um, just because the Twins are doing amazing this year. Like, better than anybody has thought they would. But, um, it's, you, you'll just drop it in the D tier. Last dude on our list, Christian Walker of the Diamondbacks. 19 home runs, 49 RBIs, OPS 844. Um, I think he's going to be front of the B tier. 
um, not enough to break um, Robinson Cano, but um, yeah, let's, so let's take a look at this again. This is mine. Um, if you want to do this again, go to two and make a, ooh, view community ranking. Let's see what ours is. Let's see what this dude put. I think this is the dude that. Huh. So, like I did, put Faye Freeman up here. Uh, put Pete Alonzo in B. Huh. How do you... I think Josh Bell easily makes an S tier. I don't think Reese Hopkins is enough to make an S tier. Hmm. It's pretty... It's pretty, um... Who rank it now? What does this mean? Oh, this is mine. Um. So yes, this is mine. Um, if you want to do this, to just go to Tier Maker. You just have to search up Tier Maker. Press enter tiermaker dot com. Um, just search up what you want to do. Um, make sure to like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to start doing more about this. Next video is going to be like best second baseman. So I hope you'll, you guys will want to see that. Um, have a great day and goodbye.